Hello, welcome to the second in the series of tutorials on integrating Structures Office with Excel. In this tutorial, we're going to uh, show how to set up a means to communicate with the Structures Office, which we just embedded into Excel, from Excel. And we're going to talk about how to create scripts from a log file, and then how to trigger that script from Excel. So let's get started. So this is the file we created in the uh, previous, uh, the part one of integrating with Excel. And now we need to uh, first off figure out how do we, how do we communicate with that object in the spreadsheet. There's several different ways to do it and probably the most common thing to do is to create a button that triggers the activation and driving the uh, Structures Office object with a script. So I'm going to go up here to the Developer tab and I'm going to insert a... And there's two types of controls here. There's a Form Control and there's an ActiveX Control. We want the ActiveX Control button. And then you just draw a rectangle on the screen. Now let's set some properties for that. I did a right click there. Click properties, give it, give it a meaningful name, which I'll call create script. And then I want to give it a reasonable caption. I'll call it create script. And uh, that's it. You can do all kinds of things, setting colors, and but that's kind of the scope of what we're doing here. You can make these buttons very fancy. You can develop a very nice uh, graphical user interface in Excel. Okay, so what I just did, let me go back and do it again. I did a right click and I picked View Code. And you see what it did was create a subroutine, SUB is sub a subroutine. Button create script is the name I gave that button. And then this click is the click event on that button. When you click on this uh, button, it's going to execute this subroutine. So the next step, we need to get a script to do our section construction. And the easiest way to do that is to uh, start up Structures Office and go through the process that you would go through to uh, create whatever it is you want to do. It'll give you a log file and then you edit that log file as you see fit and uh, feed it to this, uh, this part of the code. So let me just do it and you know, it'll make sense. So I'm going to So I've started up a Structures Office and so now I want to build a section. I'll do that by uh, well let's create a L an L shape. We could do it this way with, by just picking on create extruded L. But let's build one up from scratch and say uh, I want a leg length of 5, a height of 1 on that flange, and locate it at 0, 0, and I'll click Add. Then I'll click on my XY location, pick a point, change my width to 1 and the height to 5, and I need a unique name. If this is unfamiliar to you, there's tutorials on uh, building up sections that you should look at uh, that takes you through and explains all these details. So I add and I got a vertical flange there. And that's it for the rectangle. So now let's throw in a fillet. Click on my XY location, pick a point. Radius of 1. Sweep 90. Add. Close. And next let's put a bulb on there. Let's create a disk. Click on my XY locations, pick a point. Give it a radius of 1. Add it. 
And so now if we got calculated section properties, we'd have a duplication of this area between the disc and the rectangle. So we need to get rid of that, and to do that we click the union, and now we got a angle with a bulb on it. So the next thing that you need to do, and I'll explain why later, is to close that. Don't need to save it, because all we want is the log. Log is always stored. Okay, that's it for that. Log files are stored underneath your account in your temp folder. So go find temp underneath your user account and get the most recent one. Okay, so here's our log file. And you just copy that and go back to your VBA code and insert it. Now the subroutine name, SUB is subroutine, I'm going to change that to create section for the name of that subroutine. And now I, underneath, okay, I'm back down here. This is what fires when you click, um, click on that button. This code's going to execute, so I need to get my subroutine in there. So let's just walk through this quickly. The first thing that's done inside the create section subroutine is it dimensions two variables, obj as an olay object. And then it creates another variable called cross section, which is dimensioned as a structures office section analysis document. This line says if there's an error, go down to the error handler. That refers to this label right here, which will throw up the error and then free up that cross section. So one thing that's very, very important is making use of breakpoints. When I pick a line, I want to see I want to put a breakpoint here. I just click over here in this yellow bar. And a breakpoint is a point that will break the execution of a of the code when it hits that line. And you can at that point go in and see exactly what's going on, what the settings are for variables, and you can step through the code, which is what we're going to do here. Okay, so um, you'll see that we're what we've done before with creating the two rectangles, the fillet and the disk, and then the union is all in our script. Now, this is a somewhat simplified case. In the real world, you're going to have to edit your scripts. So uh, let's save that. Let's go back to Excel. Let's get out of design mode. You see when these uh, handles are on the outside of the button, you're in, design, you're in design mode. You want to get out of that and go into execute mode so that when you do an event, like in a click, it will it will execute. So I'm going to click on the button. Oh, I guess I don't have my references defined. So that error that you saw, uh, that it didn't recognize this type, I'll show you how to fix that. Go to Tools. Well, I guess we can't do that in execution mode. So stop it. Tools, References. Go find my structures office type library. As if you recall in the last um, tutorial, uh, the type library is what tells the Visual Basic what all the different types are of in a library, such as structures office. So that would be the various objects that are in there, the various methods that an object can perform and arguments for those methods. So now I set my breakpoint and I will save that and I will get back out, close and return, click on that on the button and now I'm here at my uh, this is a this is a loop that goes from here to the next statement and it looks at every Olay object in the active sheet. So it sets its variable obj as it loops through 
this portion of the code. So I'm going to do a, I've got the debug uh, toolbar showing to get that turned on. Put a check mark on your debug. I right clicked up here in the uh, ribbon area where there's nothing and uh, click debug. So I step through. So there's two LA objects. There's a button is an LA object and structures office is an LA object. I need to get the object that is that has the program identifier of structures office cross section document. And when, once I have that and this and it matched here, it was in fact what I was looking for. Now I'm going to activate that object, which means boot up Structures Office. Structures Office is executing now and displaying in this window. And I, re and I set my cross section variable to this object. And it'll, the logs do this for you, but it's very important that you understand what all is going on. Okay, this statement is going to clear whatever shapes or whatever is defined in that in structures office right now and if you remember we left it with a disk in there so let's execute that it will clear it now we want to add a rectangle and you see these arguments out here if you ever want to know what those are you type and that okay I did cross section which is the this object here dot shows me the methods the method was add rectangle and this is called IntelliSense where it shows you as you type what are the possibilities it's very handy and then I type a space and now it shows me the arguments first arguments the name then the length then the width then the X and Y location of the origin point and the rotation of that rectangle and sign is whether it's positive or negative negatives are holes Okay, so let's go on down. Oops, I don't want that in there. Get rid of it. And let's add a fillet, add a disk, and do the union. So here we are with my section created. Uh, just as we did it before, but this time with a script. And now I exit. You notice that I did this setting cross-section equal to nothing. That frees up space that was allocated for that object. And it's important that you do that. It's a good programming practice. Okay, so now we have a working script. Okay, to summarize in the second tutorial, we created a button and use the click event on that button to uh, fire the structures office script. And note that when you're to, you should always exit structures office when you're creating a script so that that error handling at the bottom of the script gets added. That, that, that doesn't get added to the log until you close structures office. And then when you want to go find those uh, log files, you have to go to the temp directory of your user account and look for the most recent one. And I should also point out if you ever have a bug or find something that you think is, isn't working right, send us that log and we can reproduce exactly what happened and odds are reproduce what happened and be able to fix it quick. So that's it for the second tutorial and you can move on to the third tutorial which where we're going to go in and edit uh, the script so that it takes values from Excel and returns values to Excel.